Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry. Okay, you guys, I had a whole bunch of stuff come in the mail today, so I want to do a quick share with you on a couple of the items. Um, the first items are, these are uh, peel and stick backsplash tiles. I got them off of Amazon. And when I purchased them, they were on sale for like half off. So there was $16 for six sheets. And there's uh, 2,400 tiles here for $16, which is a heck of a good deal. So um, I got two different color variations. Uh, this first one is for my Dungeons & Dragons uh, project that I know you guys haven't seen any videos on yet, but that's because I'm saving them until after I finish it and give the gift to my brother, and then I'll post all the videos. But I will share this. Um, because the theme of it, color scheme wise, it's going into a room that is uh, cobalt blue, uh, gray, and black. So that's why I got this particular color variation. And um, they are peel and stick, but I don't even know, this might even easily come off because I would want to put glue on the back of them anyway. So, but I'm not sure how well that's going to come off, but uh, they can be cut apart. So, see, and just run the, uh, exacto blade right down there. It's Cause I am going to separate them all and sort them by color into a, a storage box. So, um, it looks like there's, cause we got like cobalt blue, dark gray, medium gray, light gray, a paler blue. Looks like there's five or six different colors here. So, so that's the first one. Um, I will put a link for these items in the description box below. But again, when I got them, they were on sale for $16 and they're regular like $32 for uh, the six sheets, which is still a really good price for 2,400 tiles. So, okay. So that's the first set. And then this other set I got for... I keep saying that I want to do a mosaic with the words quirky cat crafts, but I couldn't decide on a color scheme. And then when I did the dragon book box, and I've also done another mosaic in the past along the same lines with the uh, turquoise and purple and navy blue. And so I really like those colors together. So, and these were on sale. So it kind of locked it in for me. So, um, I'm going to do it in a cat theme, quirky cat crafts, and it'll all be cat themed tiles um, because you guys know I have a couple of quirky cats running around my house. Um, and really crafting themed like stamp sets or charms or whatever, you know, you can find them for like sewing or painting or uh, things like that. But finding ones that are specific to the craft that I do has been pretty impossible. So I'm going to go with the cat theme and once I get it done, I'll get a good picture of it and then that'll become my banner on my channel. So anyway, so these are, um, you know, same thing, peel and stick. And, uh, so we've got like a pale lavender, a darker purple, two different shades of like a turquoise teal. There's some grays in here. There's some blends and they're like textury also. So these are smooth, but these are bumpy and they're like the purple and blue mixed. So, and I might pull some of the navy from the other ones to go on this one. So, um, same thing. It's six sheets. So 2,400 individual tiles once I get them all separated. So I am very excited about that. Okay, and then the other thing is, I get on Facebook Marketplace and search for people de-stashing craft supplies all the time. And I had one pop up recently from a lady who was getting rid of her collection of brads, her scrapbooking brads. So let me show you this, you guys. There are so many. Look <laughs> Look at all these brads I got, you guys. And again, I let, the brads can be embedded into the clay and baked because they're metal. 
And she also threw in some flowers. There's some uh, colored wire and some little frames, right? So, okay, I wanted to make sure I was mostly in the shot. Okay, so um, she was actually, she had them advertised in like five or six different storage containers and she was selling all of them for $15, all of this, which is way underpriced. I mean, I've priced scrapbooking brads and they can be pricey, especially the ones that are like theme specific. And also she lived about three hours away from me. And even though it was a really good price, I really didn't want to have to spend six hours in the car today. So I offered her um, $50 for all, but to include shipping. Um, so that would cover like one of the $10 uh, flat rate boxes for the post office and I told her I didn't need her storage containers because I have plenty of my own and so I asked if she would be willing to just like dump them all in a box and ship them to me for $50 which of course she was more than willing to do and I was very, very excited about that so um so then it ended up being you know it's about what $10 for the flat rate box $15 was her asking price that's 25 and then you know, basically for her time as well, take because I know it's pain in the butt to go to the post office. So, um, and also because, you know, it's the value of it. I wouldn't feel okay because I know how much all this stuff costs new. So, um, and because she was willing to go ship it for me, it's will I was happy to pay the extra. So, anyway, um, so we're going to open up some of these and dump them out and see what we got, you guys. So, um, and then I'll be sorting through and dividing them all up. So, oh my gosh, where do I start? Where do I start, you guys? And she packaged them up so nice. Look at this, you know? All right, here we go. Ready? Oh my, oh my, oh my. And we're just going to kind of dig through here real quick. Let's see. Um, that's a little house. Got a couple tangled up here. That's not sure what that's supposed to be. Tickets, maybe? Like movie tickets or something? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, it's a tent. Look, it's a tent. Because <laughs> it's camping. Oh, my goodness. So there's a whole bunch of camping, hiking. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. Focus, Sherry. Some more tents, some more camping. Um, oh my gosh. So look, we have all these little ones that are XOXO in tons of different colors. Just little triangles. There's a little chickadee. Pumpkins. Words I love you. Some little Easter eggs. These are going to probably get used on my um, my gnome holiday mosaics. That, look at these. These are so cute. Oh, my gosh. Little bunnies. Of course, there's hearts and shamrocks. That's a cup of hot chocolate. Some little hearts with polka dots. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Look at all these leaves. Oh, my God. Look at those. Those are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Jack-o-lantern, snowflakes, there's some snowflakes in there, there's a tie, <coughs> excuse me, some more, some more words, presents, I mean, just, I mean, just this bag, if you bought these new would be ridiculous pricing wise. So word fall eggs. The word winter, so I imagine spring and summer are floating around in here somewhere possibly. There's some little crowns. Alright you guys. That's that bag. Gosh, I'm so excited. 
And then, of course, there's a whole bunch of, like, little hearts and different colors. There's just little round ones. And what I like to do with these is, and the okay, I cut the prongs off the back with my shank cutters. And then you just press this right on the clay. Cut out your tile and bake it. And, um, and then after I bake it, I pop it back off, put a little bit of glossy accents glue underneath it, and put it back down. So, do you guys, I mean, think about it. Oh, I got so sidetracked. Look, I'm so excited, you guys. This is ridiculous. Okay, so the, the little circle ones, I'll just, like, line up. Like, maybe do a line of three on a little strip of clay. Like, let's say red, white, and blue on white or something for 4th of July. And it's just a little filler tile. And it's just something else to look at, something different. There's little gold stars in here. Gosh, I'm so excited. Flashlight, that's probably for camping as well. I mean, can you believe this? There's a, a boot print. Look at that. Footprint. Gingerbread. I'm so excited, you guys. I am so freaking excited about these. Okay, so that was bag number one. Okay, we're going to push these off to the side. Oh, got a runner. Come here. Oh, look. Look, look, look. It says Easter. So cute. Oh, wait. Okay. All right. And... Do you guys see what I'm saying about value? The value of, 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 of her stash and what it was worth to me. I love these. These are actually what jumped out at me when I saw the picture of her post on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, just cut the prongs off, embed it in clay. It'll be a strip and that'll be a filler tile. I mean, come on. Right? Little squares and circles. There's some apples in here. Balloons. Look, that's a little balloon, you guys. Flowers. All these different flowers. And I know there were hearts in the same pattern. So, you know, like I could do a heart and a flower on a project in the same pattern. So... It's a little ant. Little barbecue. Or possibly a witch's cauldron, I'm not sure. I say barbecue because it's closed at the top. Are we there yet? It's just a little. So yeah, with the mixed media, you guys, there's. You got to think outside the box a little bit. Got little uh, gemstone brads. So I'm always looking for these kinds of things, you guys. So there's a little another little camper. <laughs> that says trouble. That says mess. These would not get baked, obviously. But um, I would probably do them on like a piece of wood chipboard or on a mirror. That would just be for a little boy, for example. The word Noel. There's a little suitcase. There's a camera. A little purse. So, some more flowers. I actually have these kind, so I'll just add those to my existing. So... Yep, remember, anything metal, got bigger circles, right? Is this interesting to you guys at all? Probably not, but I'm excited about it. And just because I want you guys to, you know, think outside the box. I mean, backsplash, sheets of backsplash tiles, you know. And I'll go into, it's a little lipstick. I'll go into like the big box stores once in a while, like uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards or something, and uh, ask if they have 
That's a school bus. If they have um, like sheets of backsplash tiles that are damaged. Bike helmet. Um, and I'll buy them because I'm going to separate them into individual tiles anyway. So, yeah, so there's charms in here in addition to Brad's. And for those of you that have shopped around, there's a bicycle. You know, charms are, charms can be pricey, the metal ones. So, so those will get sorted. <laughs> My gosh. All right, let's see what else we got. Sorry, you guys. You're you're along for the ride now. I apologize. Um, sorry, I haven't been around much. The work situation has been kind of wonky. Um, my coworker's mother had a stroke last week and had emergency surgery. She's doing better, um, but he missed some work for that, obviously. So I went all the way to Indianapolis and back a couple times. So that's why you guys didn't get a video last weekend. So sorry about that. Um, these are cute. Some more trees, bigger circles. All right, there's some random buttons in here. Oh, we got Mickey Mouse. Like a little red star with the white polka dots. So cute. Some more just colored round ones. I love those. Some more little of the wavy lines. Bottle cap. Anyway, sorry. Train of thought derailed. Let's get it back on track. But yeah. So when you're looking for items to create tiles with. You know. Any of this stuff works. Again, with the plastic, I would not bake. I'd be afraid it would melt. But all these little metal dots, and I know I just recently saw on Amazon, they had like a huge batch of them for like $3 on clearance or something. But I didn't get them because I knew I had all these coming. So, and you just cut the prongs off the back. Um, I just use my little shank cutters, right? It doesn't even have to be a neat cut job because it's getting embedded in the clay anyway. So, wow, I need to sharpen my shank cutters. Look at that. Come on. Usually they pop right off. Sorry. Wow, I really need to sharpen them. They are dull, dull, dull. There we go. So I just cut those off. And then you don't even have to fix that up or nothing because it gives the clay uh, something to grab onto. So you just stick that right in the clay. And then you have a little colored polka dot. So, yeah, lots of dots in this one. Some more of the wavy lines. Um, more football. Another little coffee cup, teacup, whatever. Oh my gosh. And there's a little red striped tree, Christmas tree, so, and then like these circles, right, embed that in the clay and then do something in the middle, maybe one of the smaller colored dots, right, not necessarily that color combination, so, yep, look at that, Mickey balloon, so cute, okay. I'm so excited, you guys. Do you have any idea how long it's going to take me to sort all these out? Hours and hours of happiness. Yes. All right. You guys, there's still like six bags to go. This is crazy. Um, but anyway, so yeah, work's been crazy. So, I am sorry I have not been around. You know what's really sad? Is basically I'm going to have to scoop all of these into a container and set them off to the side because I have... Um, the robot mosaic and, um, the astronaut mosaic, and I have got to get those glued this weekend. So, um, so that's going to have to happen before the sorting. So that'll be my motivation because <laughs> I won't be allowed to sort. So got little arrows, some stars. Oh, 
little corners. You guys, I am so excited. I'm so excited. Little flowers. Yes. This is crazy. You guys should see the mountain of, mountain of them over here off to the side. I'll scoot them back in the middle when I'm done. And show you that I have absolutely no regrets about offering her $50 for all these. None whatsoever. And actually looking at them now... Probably would have gone a little higher, to be honest with you. But, you know, with de stashing your supplies, you know, you're not going to get what you paid for them. And most of us in the crafting world just want them to go to a home where somebody's going to use them. You know, if you've had stuff sitting in your stash for more balloons, you know, for an extended period of time and you're not using it and you want to pass it on to somebody who will... And you just want everything to go to a happy home, right? So we got a lot more. Look at all these little smaller dots, right? There's little polka dot ones. I mean, I probably wouldn't go through all this in the rest of my natural life. Like, and I really need to, you know, take the time to create those you know, variations of filler tile options, you know. Because the time that you take to create them and it gives something different to look at on the mosaic to make it truly mixed media. So, balloons. Gosh. Can we say birthday mosaic, right? I love these big dots. Okay. Holy my Atlanta. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to open the frames, but there's a bunch of little frames here. I'm not going to open the wire. I'm not going to open the flowers right now. Let's see. Oh, I got more. Missed one. Come on. Come on. Come on out. Did it come out? Yes. Yeah. Alright. So I got some words, tricks, and I biffed it. I don't know what biffed means. Got some sport balls, basketballs, footballs. So, that's cute. This is a door. I love you. Autumn Splendor. That's a dog. So cute. There's a hammer. Baseball hat. I love to shop. I think it's supposed to say music notes. I wonder if there's a piece missing because there's a hole there that I imagine is supposed to be the eye. I don't know. Uh, Lord Wolf. Or purses. XOXO. Pinatas, I guess. Soccer balls. Oops. And baseballs. So I had football, basketball, soccer balls, and baseballs. There's an electric drill. There's a random squiggly something. Got a wrench. World's best dog. Okay. Alright, a couple more here. And I'm glad she put these in bags because I imagine like some of the smaller ones might have snuck out 
on the bottom of the box if it wasn't taped up completely or whatever. So, all right, so here we've got some bigger ones. Um, got a lantern, a purse, high-heeled shoe, bike parking, so that goes with the bike themed ones we had earlier, an Easter basket, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, um, these are just like, um, plastic, but they're little like champagne glasses. Use those for uh, wedding ones or for New Year's. Lord Hot. Got another bunny. Giggle. Little baby carriage. Big Easter eggs. More Easter bunnies. There's a turkey. Where was that when I did the uh, Thanksgiving ballet slippers? The word dance. Christmas ornament. Couple snowmen. Little chickadee. Heart. Um, that probably goes with the ballet. Ballerina. Christmas tree. There's a little sun. There's a crown. There's a frog. Don't you dare jump up here. Give thanks. That's for Thanksgiving. Dragonfly. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Gobble. Gobble, gobble. Okay. Alright, let's see. Um, this looks like it's mostly like fabric tags. And paper tags. There's some more of those little champagne glasses in there. And some words. But I'm not going to open that one right now. So, But just for... I said no. Go away. Just... Just brads, you guys. Alright? You seeing the point? You seeing the point I'm trying to make here? I'm very excited. It's going to be so fun to sort these. All right, you guys. Um, that's it for now because, honestly, it's earlier than I'm normally awake. But I got up for a bathroom break and I checked my phone and I had my Amazon delivery come. And it was sitting on my front porch. And this time of year, you don't want to leave stuff sitting out there too long. So, um, And then also this came and it was in my mailbox. So, I... Uh, Ran down to the mailbox because I have to drive to that and got my stuff, got this, and then I got my Amazon stuff, and now everything's secure, and so I am going back to bed. That is why Garfield's over here griping at me right now because normally um, I am not up this early. So, anyway, so next video is going to be uh, the gluing process, laying out and gluing for the... Um, astronaut and the robot but that was the other thing i wanted to show you i got some new boxes off of amazon okay they come come here they just come packaged like this packaged flat okay and they have tissue paper in there okay and they're magnetic and so um their magnetic closure at the front. There it is. So see, magnetic closure, and then it opens up like that. And so then, I, I'm, you gotta put glue, because you can see they're not really sticking very well, see? So I'm gonna put some glue. But you just put it together like that. And then you've got this lid that folds over and magnetic closure. So, this is going to be for the astronaut and the um, robot theme. And what I'm trying to decide is, and these are gonna need to be dusted. So like, here's the, the astronaut theme. I have to decide, cause I know I'm gonna decorate the top and the front of the lip. 
So I'm trying to decide, do I want the nameplate here? Or do I want it here because it's the exact dimension? And then do tiles around it. I'm really leaning towards this because then when it's sitting on the desk or whatever, the nameplate will be facing facing you. So probably what I'm going to do. So yeah, so I'll glue. So the tiles will be just on this part and this. So, and I got these off Amazon as well. I will go find uh, the link for that and um, post that as well. So, because if I recall correctly, they were fairly inexpensive and it's just a cute little um, inexpensive box that you can mosaic up. So, all right. Okay, you guys, that's it for now. I think we got you caught up. So I need to go find a box or a basket big enough to hold all these until such time as I can get them sorted. And when I come back, we will be gluing, laying out and gluing astronaut and robot themed mosaics. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching.